Hey everybody, a Film Fan 108 here, and welcome to a very special video. Now, I don't normally do these, but when there's a sale, sometimes you just want to show off the goods, and I definitely do. And if you remember, there was a Kino Lorber sale not too long ago, and a Ronin Flick sale, and, well, I might have taken advantage of it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit I do. I have three packages, a few in each to show off. And these are some ones that I definitely wanted in a big bad way. So how about we get into little unboxing love, shall we? Yes. And the first, why not we start with Kino, right? Why not? Let's start off with Kino and see what goods I picked up, man. And I definitely wanted to, because honestly, the Kino sale had a lot of really wonderful deals, and I was like, I couldn't really pass that stuff up. I couldn't really indeed, and oh, yes, oh, oh, these are ones that I definitely wanted in the collection in a big, bad way. Oh, baby, did I? And the first being from Kino Lorber... 12 Angry Men. Now, this is not the original 12 Angry Men. This is the remake with, oh my god, look at all these people. Ozzy Davis, Dorsey Scott, Tony Danza, Jack Lemon, William Peterson. My god, dude, literally, there's like a whole bunch of who's who actors in this thing. I love this movie. In fact, this is the first one that I ever watched. Not the original. It was the remake that I watched the first time. And man, did I love this movie so much. I love the story, the courtroom drama of this man who believes this one person is innocent and really to go over all of the evidence and reevaluate it, even though everybody else really feels that it's a just open and shut case. He believes otherwise, and the drama within that is really intensifying and electrifying, and I really love it so much. The acting here is a masterclass in acting, no doubt about it, man, and I just love this. And it made me want to watch the original, and I love the original just as much, if not more. I never really thought this one would get physical media love, but when Kino announced it a long while back, I was like, man, this is definitely one I want. I love the original, but the remake is really just as good. Uh, glad that I picked up a little bit of 12 Angry Men Love, and not bad price for that. That was pretty sweet. But this one, ooh, it's even sweeter, baby, because it's Michael J. Fox Love, one of my favorite Michael J. Fox movies of all time, and that is now then Secret of My Success. Oh my God, do I love this movie. Do I love Michael J. Fox? Michael J. Fox has charisma and charm for days, man. Especially back in the day. Dude, he was the shit. Okay, he really was. Dude, yes, we can talk about Back to the Future all we want. Absolutely. But he was in so many others. I mean, Doc Holliday is fantastic. This movie is really great as well. Bright Lights, Big City. That's another one which is fantastic. He is an amazing actor. And I even love him on some of the TV show stuff he did. Of course, uh, Family Ties, which is amazing, but also Spin City. He's just got a great persona, personality, and it showed in whatever he did. And this is a phenomenal film. I mean, basically, he plays this small town boy who goes to this big city and has big city dreams and all of the hilarious complications in order to make his dreams come true. It is really great. I love this movie. I actually watched this film... Back in the day on VHS, my mother and father taped this movie on VHS, and when I was young, I would watch this, and I just fell in love with Michael J. Fox. I fell in love with this boy's big dream, and oh my god, that's what it takes to do that? You gotta, you gotta sleep with your hand? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, what the hell? It, it, it was crazy, it was wild, I love this movie so much, it's just really fun and incredibly entertaining, and... To see it get the physical media love is really freaking amazing, dude. I love the fact that they finally released this. This is a must-have in the collection. No doubt about it. No doubt indeed. It is just that damn good, man. Oh, so, so good indeed. It's nice to see more Michael J. Fox titles getting the love that they properly deserve. Damn right, man. 
Oh, I can't wait to rewatch this. I can't wait to rewatch it indeed. That is the first package from Kino. Let's dive into the second Kino package, shall we? Oh, man. Oh, two titles that I wanted, and perhaps more that are worthy for the collection. Oh, let's dive into these ones. Oh, some good ones indeed. Oh, yeah, baby. A little bit of up the creek goodness. Oh, yes. Why? Comedy hijinks. Why the hell not, man? Tim Matheson, Stephen First, dude. Up the creek. This is a really great, unknown, entertaining gem. I love this movie. Basically, it's almost like Animal House with them river rafting. <laughs> Like, like, seriously, that's the best way to describe it, man. It is wild hijinks and hilarity, and why not put in, like, a race on a boat? What what the fuck, man? Why the hell not, dude? It's, it's pretty fun. I love the acting here. I love the hilarity, the chemistry with the guys, you know, good-looking babes, entertaining jokes. I mean, you certainly can't make a movie like this nowadays, put it that way. There ain't no fucking way you'd ever make a movie like this again, but you gotta give it up to the 80s and back in the day, dude, because politically correctness, yeah, that wasn't a thing. <laughs> Not even close, dude. This is fun. I love this movie. I haven't seen it in ages, man. I watched this movie back in, like, the VHS era. It's been a long-ass time, dude, and I've wanted it. And finally, for a really great price from Kino, ooh, I decided to take advantage of it in a big, bad way, man. Not a bad little title to revisit. Not bad at all, man. And the next Kino Lorber Love... Oh, man, this one... This one I've actually been eyeing for a little while from Kino Lorber in previous sales, but I never really decided to do it until now because you gotta have a little bit of Ellen DeGeneres love in your collection, just a wee bit. And I figured if there was any movie that I was gonna invest in, yeah, I could do Finding Nemo, but ah, why do that when I could do Mr. Wrong? Oh, oh man. Okay, look, this movie is not perfect. Yes, it's kind of weird and odd and cheeseball and extremely politically incorrect. And honestly, this should probably be more of a horror movie than it should actually be a comedy. But I actually kind of like it. Basically, Ellen Jenner is playing this woman who's very lonely and she's single and everybody else is finding love and, and marrying and she's just stuck in a rut. And she finds this really charming, great guy played by Bill Pullman. She's like, this guy is absolutely perfect. He's amazing. He's like, actually, he's kind of too perfect. He, he, There should be something wrong with this guy. And in fact, there is. He's just so obsessed with her. And he's kind of crass and a little wild. And she just doesn't want to deal with it anymore and tries to get away from him. And he is stalking her like a motherfucker. And all the weird hilarity that happens from there... I gotta tell you, I've always found it kind of funny. It had its hilarious moments, a little bit of charm to the film. I realized that, honestly, Ellen Jandra should probably put a restraining order on this guy, okay, in a major way, man. And honestly, she wasn't really into him well because, you know, well, she's gay. <laughs> but, you know, she didn't know that at the time, and neither did Bill Pullman. Had he done that, maybe he would have stopped stalking her. Probably not. <laughs> oh, man. It is a weird movie, to be fair, man. It just is not one of those really memorable movies. And I'm pretty sure not many people have Mr. Wrong in their collection, but... Ah, what the hell. I'm an old-school comedy lover. I love the old-school ones from the 90s. Even the more ridiculous, odd ones, I can't resist. And for a good sale, this was like five bucks or something. Yeah... Why not give it a go, man? Haven't watched it in a long time, but an Ellen DeGeneres oddball comedy? Why not add one to the collection? Why the hell not, man? So that was all of the Kino love, man. The four titles that I got from Kino, well worth it. Great sale from those. But that's not it because, well, there is a little bit of Ronan Flicks love. Oh, yes, man. Now... When Ronin Flicks had their sale, here I am thinking to myself, what don't I have from Ronin Flicks? Because a lot of the stuff that they had on sale, I actually already own in the collection. And I was like, hmm, 
what is the one thing I want from the Ronin Flick sale that I don't have that I probably should have in the collection? And this one, well, I figured if there's any good title to get from the Ronin Flick sale, this one, hmm, this one might just be it. Because if you're looking for something to add to your collection, Why not a little Bronson love? Oh, yes, with Death Wish 3. Oh, man. He's back in New York bringing justice to, to the streets. Oh, indeed he is. One badass bullet at a time. Oh, dude. I didn't have this movie in the collection. In fact, do you believe that I don't own any of the old school Bronson Death Wish films in the collection? I don't at all. I know that's crazy, right? I actually own the Bruce Willis remake, which I actually really love that remake. That's actually a really cool remake, but of course, nothing beats Bronson, man. And I do have some Bronson titles in the collection anyways, but I figure, God, why don't I have any of the fucking Death Wish movies? They're so entertaining, and he's so badass in them. And dude, he's... He's fucking Bronson. <laughs> I mean, come on. I have to have Death Wish Love in the collection. So I figured, why not start with a third one and work my way backwards? Trust me, I will eventually get part two. And come on, I will have to get part one in the collection at some point. But why not start with Death Wish 3, man? And I've always really loved this series, dude. I just love the fact that these punks are reckoning the city and all the mayhem and chaos and out of everybody else all the cops and everybody else that could that could protect the streets man they turn to bronson of all people well i i guess if if you can't get stallone if you can't get schwarzenegger and can't get good old chuck norris i figure hell might as well call bronson he ain't doing shit <laughs> so dude with his big ass gun and his murderous ways, he takes out the punks one by one, dude. And the sequels kind of get ridiculous and batshit crazy. And they just become way more wild and just incredibly entertaining, dude. I mean, we're no longer in the land of reality when it comes to the later Death Wish movies. We're in this hyper-violent reality where the only man that could stand up to the evil is Bronson. And I just love that shit, dude. I really do, man. As an old-school fan of the action star from back in the 80s and the 90s, there's something about the Death Wish films, especially the later ones, that kind of have that old-school shoot 'em up you know, 80s throw everything in the kitchen sink in a type of way that I just really dig, dude. And, oh, this is yet another one of them, dude. Wow, man. I cannot wait to dive into Death Wish Love yet again. It's been a long time since I've watched any of the original Death Wish movies. And I guess this is as good of a time to do it in, isn't it? It definitely is, man. And the slipcover love as well. Oh, man. I think they've made, like, what, like five Death Wish movies with Bronson? Huh. I know that there's this one. There is definitely part two from Vinegar Syndrome. I don't know if the first one got a really great addition or not. I'll have to check that out. And four and five, I'm sure, is out there at some point as well. Eventually, I'm going to have to do my due diligence to get all the Death Wish movies, eventually. And when I do, I'm smelling movie marathon, baby. <laughs> Indeed I am. Oh. So good to have more Bronson love in the collection. Why not, dude? If there's anything worth getting during the sale, it's Bronson goodness. That's for damn sure. And my goodness, dude, look at this. Look at this. Oh, 12 Angry Men, The Secret of My Success, Up the Creek, Mr. Wrong, and Death Wish. Oh, baby. Not bad. Not crazy plentiful as far as sales love go, but I didn't need a ton either. And I figure that these are titles that I've really wanted in the collection. They were good sale prices. And I figure, well, if there's any time to pull the trigger, might as well be now. Not half bad indeed, guys. I did a little bit of my due diligence on sales, physical, media, goodness. What do you guys think? And did you take advantage of the sale? What did you get from Ronin Flex and Kino Lorber and all that good stuff? Definitely let me know, baby. A uh, little comedy love, a little drama, and a little bit of Bronson action goodness. You can't 
ask for anything better. Oh, you can indeed, guys. So, so good. Glad I got these for a great price, and I can't wait for the next sale to take advantage of it even more. What do you guys think? Definitely uh, leave some comments down below and let me know what you think of the titles and what you took of advantage of as well. Definitely let me know. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely uh, give it the uh, thumbs up. And if you haven't checked out the channel before, uh, check out more of the special videos that I do. Movie reviews with my friends, movie hunting, Blu-ray pickup videos, live streams. Blu-ray and DVD out and about videos, all the older material and newer stuff coming down the line as well. Hopefully you enjoy all the content that is on the channel. If you do, definitely hit subscribe and become a part of the Film Fan Nation. I want to thank my really great subscribers out there. You guys are amazing and awesome. You show me a lot of really great love, comments, and feedback. And you show me the love, and hopefully I show the love right back to you. So thank you so much. Keep updated with everything I'm doing through Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Film Fan 108, keep updated with everything I'm doing, plus special pictures and videos I do from time to time on social media as well. And it's time for me to catalog the titles, put them in the collection, and get ready to watch some good old Bronson goodness. Hmm. I can't wait, guys. But I will see you back next time for a brand new video. Take care, everybody, and remember, happy hunting.